Sup fam squad, your your boy Benny back at it again with a new meme. I'm gonna show you a cool trick with a fidget spinner. This fidget spinner that I have is called a piano, and I'm gonna show you how to properly use it to get all the pussy. I like pussy, but I like dig more actually. Your situation might be different from mine, but my situation is that I've been learning to play the piano for about seven years when I was in middle school, uh, when I was a little baby boy. <sighs> and um, then I quit because I didn't like playing the piano. Uh, I, ju I just thought that music wasn't my thing, but then I discovered Muse, and oh boy, oh boy, shit hit fan, fam. Ah, diabetes. Then I quit, and then I tried to get back at it again, Daniel, with white bands. So I tried to get back at it again. I tried to create music on my computer with FL Studio, and with this sick Yamaha PSR E423. It's a pretty cool synthesizer, in my opinion. But that's because I didn't have any other synthesizers. I only have a classical piano right here. Uh, I'm having difficulties right now because I'm a novice and beginner. Yes, I am a novice after seven years because I'm having difficulties with my hands. If your problem is that uh, your hands always sink during playing any any instrument, be it piano or uh, a guitar. So if your hands sink, I'm gonna show you a trick that might just fix your problem. When you play a, a melody and the melody differs uh, in hands. I, how should I put it? So, you're playing a bass line with your right hand, you're playing another melody. And sometimes it happens that your hands sync up. And um, even if, uh, when, when you try, instead of spinning a fucking finger spinner in your school, when you're nervous uh, and you're trying to make a beat with your fingers, when you make a certain beat with this hand and you're making uh, a different beat with this hand, your hands sync up and they try to make uh, an uh, analogical beats and that messes up your beats and your day is ruined and you want to get back to daddy for some cummies so he can lift your mood. I love daddy's cummies. Back to the point. I'm gonna show you how to desync your hands. Uh, I hope this helps. I'm not a professional. I'm not a master at piano. Uh, I'm actually... I actually suck pretty much. This uh, this video only exists because I want to share my memes with you and only because I want to show you how to play more efficiently. If you're getting into the piano or you're trying to get back at it again. Uh, let's try a simple melody. Uh, it's Rage Against the Machine, uh, Killing in the Name. The only reason I chose this melody is because I more or less know it. I like Rage Against the Machine. It's just simple. Uh, the bass line is pretty simple. But it's not a melody to uh, design to play on the piano. I'm just gonna show you the example. Fuck. See? I'm a beginner. Don't pay attention to that. Never mind the fuck offs. Alright. So what you see here is a simple melody, and if you're like me, if you're having the problem that I just discussed, uh, when you're playing the melody, uh, it just so happens that uh, you press the key uh, with the left hand when you're playing with the right hand. Uh, it sounds like something like this. Uh, see? It's supposed to be like that. But you're instead playing it like that because you're pressing the key with your thumb. This one. Uh, I hope you understand the problem by now, and uh, there are a few ways to fix it. I think. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, the first one is know your parts, not the private parts. <laughs> know your uh, know your uh, melody. Like uh, study the left arm first. Uh, uh, study your part with the left arm, the bass line and stuff. And then, or you might do it vice versa. Uh, first, learn the right hand, and then learn the left hand. It, uh, it, it doesn't matter. The, what's important is that you know what you're playing. Uh, that's, that's the first way. Second, 
usually people think of their hands as as two separate entities. Think of your hands as one entity. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, think of it this way. Um, usually, uh, when you hear the melody, uh, you think of it like this. You remember it like this. But instead, try to remember it like this. See, instead of na 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 na, think of it na 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 na. Uh, when you're playing uh, certain notes with your right hand, remember when those notes play with the left with the left hand. And your hands are not two separate entities because uh, when you think about it, uh, your uh, head uh, happens to get filled with garbage. Garbage. And uh, you just think of it too much. <laughs> the second tip is um, start slow. Start learning your patterns slow, like really slow. Start with uh, I don't know 100 BPM, or if the song is already 100 BPM, uh, try 60. Start real slow. I have a shitty sense of rhythm, so uh, I recommend you use the metronome. But I'm gonna, not gonna do that because it annoys the fuck out of me. And the final and the most important tip is uh, to remember the connection of sounds you play with your left hand with the, with the sounds you play with your right hand. So you remember that when you play this. Just remember to try the... See what I did there? I tried played this. I went ahead and played this. The bass line. I'm oversimplifying it. I, I'm just shit at explaining things, but... I really hope that you understand what I'm talking about. Number one, learn your learn your bass line and your melody. Number two, play it slowly and remember the pattern. Number three, try to understand the connection of sounds uh, between the left hand and the right hand. Well, uh, number 3.5 is uh, think of your hands as one entity, not as two different ones. Now, I'm gonna show you a more complex example. It's, I think it's a favorite song of mine, uh, personally, one of the best songs ever written. It's kind of hard to play, but when you do learn to play it, I think it's really worth it because it's fucking beautiful. So, here we go. I just can show you an example. I'm getting carried away here. Fuck. I think that's that's it. Just remember to link uh, the sounds you make with your left hand with the sounds you make with your right hand. Instead of thinking of it as playing the melody and the bass line, think of it as playing a single melody. So remember to smash that motherfucking like button and hit subscribe if you're hyped for the Emoji movie in theaters on July 28th. Fuck, I'm Russian, so pardon my language.